The head of U.S. military operations in the Middle East, Gen. Frank McKenzie, recognizes that Iran and its proxies have achieved overmatch, the ability to fire many more missiles than adversaries such as Israel and the U.S. can shoot down or destroy. Iran's missiles have become a more immediate threat than its nuclear program, he says. While its citizens starve, Iran has become a leading global missile producer, with the largest and most diverse arsenal in the Middle East, including thousands of ballistic missiles with a range of more than 2,000 kilometers. A disturbing report in The New Yorker argues that Tehran's cruise missiles have fundamentally altered the balance of power in the Gulf region. A series of Iranian tests in late December included the simultaneous deployment of missiles and drone attacks against the same target, similar to a previous Iranian attack on GCC oil infrastructure. Iran is meanwhile seeking to capitalize on Chinese technology to develop projectiles that can circumvent missile defense systems. Experts believe North Korea is now importing Iranian missile technology. Everybody should know that all American bases and their vessels in a distance of up to 2,000 kilometers are within the range of our missiles, Bragg Gen. Amir Ali Hajizadeh, head of Iran's aerospace force. We have constantly prepared ourselves for a fully-fledged war, he crowed, as if fully-fledged war were an optimum outcome for the region. Meanwhile, the firing of rockets by Iranian proxies at GCC and Western targets in the region is now a near-daily phenomenon. There are substantial increases in military spending, including more than doubling the allocation for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in Iran's 2022 budget, despite its income estimates being based on the assumption of no new nuclear deal. A Washington Institute analysis concluded, the Ricey government sees no economic urgency to making substantial nuclear concessions. Experts warn that Iran is a few short months or weeks away from nuclear breakout capacity, with increasingly advanced centrifuges enriching uranium to 60% purity. Former Mossad intelligence director Zohar Palti estimates that Iran would require just three weeks to produce sufficient fuel for a bomb. Western officials are even less optimistic about extracting concessions from Iran on its ballistic missile program than they are about the nuclear program. Ricey declared, regional issues or the missile issue are non-negotiable. Iran's increasing reliance on drones, cyber attacks and unconventional warfare aspires to give Tehran a decisive military advantage over its neighbors. Iran has proved that it is using its ballistic missile program as a means to coerce or intimidate its neighbors, noted Biden's nuclear negotiator, Robert Malley. After the January 2020 U.S. assassination of Qasem Soleimani Iran, fired a barrage of ballistic missiles with 1,000-pound warheads at a U.S. base in Iraq, the largest ballistic missile attack by any nation on American troops. Hours later, Iranian forces shot down a Ukrainian passenger jet just after it took off from Tehran airport, killing all 176 people on board. Coinciding with the anniversary of Soleimani's death, there was a display in central Tehran last week of the rockets used by Iran in these retaliatory strikes. However, in the western city of Sharikard, a newly erected statue of Soleimani was set on fire and destroyed by Iranians clearly unimpressed by their leaders squandering the nation's wealth on overseas warmaking. Tehran's military arsenals are shielded deep underground in massive complexes in its satellite states and in Iran itself. With these tunneled missile cities stretching for many kilometers, Iran boasts the largest underground complexes in the region, housing both nuclear and missile programs. Al Bukamal on the Syria-Iraq border is one of these sites. It is a major transit point for the transfer of missiles and munitions into Lebanon and Syria, and a site where rockets are upgraded to increase range and accuracy. In early 2021 Biden ordered the bombing of Al Bukamal in retaliation for rocket attacks by hashed militias in Iraq, but the strikes had negligible impact. Without being able to crater the place, you're not going to stop the flow, one Biden intelligence official said. 
Ironically, Israeli military strikes and sophisticated sabotage operations have simply made Iran's proliferation programs more resilient by necessitating the construction of massive defenses and the installation of increasingly advanced equipment. Israeli generals have expressed frustration at the Biden administration holding up the transfer of military equipment required for dealing decisively with these capabilities.